Hi, I'm Dan Danford. Welcome to another episode of Money Made Easy for DadsDivorce.com. We've got another good question from the website today. I'm considering borrowing some money from a short-term loan company online. The issue is that I really do need the extra $100 and will repay the loan in three days. I figure I'll be charged a few dollars for the interest in that time. Will this short-term loan affect my credit score in any way? Uh, it's a great question. Everybody's concerned about their credit score, and of course there are lots of different places out there. And The first question I'd ask you is the place that you're going to borrow from, are they a bank, are they a savings company, are they a um, finance company, are they a payday lender? I mean, I think that makes a whole lot of difference. Uh, generally speaking, the more reputable the source, the more likely they are to report the credit transaction. Now basically what happens is all these different companies, uh, anybody that you pay money to, they collect information on us and then they sell that information back to people who make credit decisions. So there's this track record of people I've borrowed money from and how I pay you my utilities and all those kinds of things. And then that's the credit report that everybody's concerned about. When you slip into the realm of those short-term lenders, the finance companies, the payday lenders, and things like that, uh, they're less likely to get involved in the cumbersome requirements of reporting all those transactions. So um, it, it becomes less likely that they're going to report it. On the other hand, part of the problem is that they charge really high interest rates. So the notion that you're going to borrow $100 and pay it off in a few days and pay a couple of dollars of interest, well, that would be more likely to happen with a bank than it would a payday lender. The payday lender is probably going to require a higher level of interest. In, in essence, those kinds of lenders, they basically make their money by lending to people who couldn't borrow otherwise. So uh, the answer to your question is anybody you borrow from is going to expect you to pay it back and there is some potential damage if you don't pay it back. The more reputable the company is, the more likely it is to be a bank or a savings and loan or a finance company, the more likely they are to report those transactions. Um, if you're only borrowing $100, in all likelihood, nobody's going to report that. It's not going to be a big deal for you. On the other hand, your interest rate is just going to be sky high. So uh, I guess that's the answer to the question. Um, use those kinds of lenders very cautiously. Uh, it's more likely that you can get a better interest rate and a better transaction by doing business with someone else. But if you have to, worry more about paying it off than your credit report. That's it for another episode of Money Made Easy for DadsDivorce.com. We'll see you again next week.